Hey, Vsauce, how you doing, man? I know like 90% of my viewers are not gonna understand that reference. What's going on, everyone? I hope you're having an awesome day so far, and welcome back to another episode Chuck's Customs. So a few weeks ago, I ended up making an episode where I pulled the Cummins and the Allison out of Bessie. Why does it have to be so hot in Florida? Now you might be saying, Chuck, we never saw that episode. I know, because I never uploaded it. And for good reason. I got halfway through editing all the footage that I gathered, and I realized it was a crap episode. It was filmed so fast and so poorly and just thrown together. I didn't want to upload that because you guys deserve better content than that. But that's what happens when you take a break from making episodes. When you try to get back into it, sometimes it can be a little rusty. It was a good practice run though. But on to today's episode. Today's episode is going to be kickstarting, I guess you could call it its own little mini series. And that mini series is all stemming from something I had called an epiphany. An epiphany. Thanks, autocorrect. So originally, the idea was that once I put the Cummins in Bessie, we were going to start restoring it so that way it could be like a brand new show truck. Which would have been cool, don't get me wrong, but that's not the direction I'm going to be going anymore. No, 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 no. Lately, I've really fallen in love with rat rods. One type in particular. I absolutely love it when you see a car or a truck that just looks like it, it belongs in a junkyard. The thing looks like a piece of crap. But when you open up the engine bay, it looks brand new, just completely pristine. And then the same thing when you open up the interior. You know, the door's all rusty and it looks like it's falling apart, but then you open it up and it looks like a 2019 Silverado inside. That's what I want. And that's what I want for Bessie, because I think Bessie deserves she deserves the best. And also, this mini-series is going to be buying me time while I save up for a new transmission. So, first order of business, get that engine cleaned up and prepped for paint. Let's get to it. May we have a moment of silence for the men that we lost on this mission. <sighs> Anything to make more work for myself, am I right?
Believe it or not, that little montage you just watched took me two and a half weeks to film in my spare time. So I think, needless to say, I'm growing more and more impatient. So, I think it's about ready for primer. You hear that? Whether you're ready or not, it's coming. Let's get to it. <laughs>
moment to do an official Chuck's Customs product review. This legitimately has to be the worst disposable respirator I've ever used in my life. Like, it could just go right in there, and no matter how hard you pinch this thing, it doesn't do its job right. It just creates more gaps. Look, if you're gonna have to do a job that requires you to wear a respirator, make sure you get a decent one. Like, spend the extra 25 cents if you can, because you're gonna die if you use one of these things. Like, it just... It's no good. Well, now that I'm slightly high from paint fumes and I have a splitting headache because of it, I think I'm pretty comfortable calling it here for today's episode. So, if you liked what you saw in this episode, go ahead and show that thumbs up button some love. If you don't like what you saw or you have questions or suggestions, let me know in the comment section. I'd love to hear from you guys. And if you want to see what color we're going to be painting that thing, make sure you stick around for the next episode, so you might as well just go ahead and hit that subscribe button while you're at it. I guess now there's a little bell next to the subscribe button. I don't know what that's all about. Uh, so I guess hit it if you want. Otherwise, don't. It's not going to bother me none. So, thank you so much for watching this episode, and I look forward to seeing you next time on another episode of Chuck's Customs.